much do you get to contribute, if at all, to like those crazy games that the show is so known for? Do you get in on that? Yeah, we have a we have a creative team, and the team is involved in everything. Wow. I mean, we do have a challenge department, and and they are amazing. But in the same way that there's a twist or the casting, we're all the nucleus all kind of work together to make the show. We care, it's weird. We still care about it the same way we did fun, 17 and it's years ago. It's always changing. Yeah, it, it, it I mean, is. You can never get bored with something that's constantly in motion. It's true. Right. And you know, watching that challenge, every time I see one on TV, what I think about is not them, but I think about when a friend will come visit me on location. Oh. And they'll say, hey, man, I want to run a challenge. Can I run a challenge during a rehearsal? Right, right, right. I say, yeah. And they always think, it's gonna be, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill it, man. I'm so and athletic. And they're really bad. Yeah, and <laughs> they're really bad. And the adrenaline kicks in. And when it's over, they're battered and bruised and exhausted. And that's, the, that's what happens on this that's show right. is you're being tested for real. It's not pretend. It's not a video game. It's your body that's trying to untie. That's why people watch, because it's, it's crazy to yeah. watch. Yeah. And you want to daydream. It's like when you watch superhero movies, you want to daydream that you could do right. those things. Exactly. Even though, as you point out to many of your friends that visit, yeah, they can't. You can't. Most people can't. So I was just not really joking at all with Jeff. I was like, you know, you must use like 180 like SPF sunscreen because you're out there so many yeah. hours in the sun. You said back in the day you didn't, but now you do. Yeah. What are the things that you always pack or, or you know, what, what you always take to these 18 countries all around the planet? You know, it's funny. It's actually working in reverse now. I used to pack so much stuff. And then I, at the end of a, of a shoot, after six weeks, I'd look at my suitcase and 75% of it I had, touch. I had yeah. not touched. And I've started realizing, man, we, we get like, well, I might need, I should also bring, what if it? Right. So now I really, I send in a box, shaving cream, razors, underarm de uh, deodorant, right. shampoo. Right, and your then, basics, yeah, like sunscreen. Yeah. Sunscreen, and then like 10 t-shirts, couple pairs of shorts, pair and of tennis shorts. And that's it. That's it. Yeah. I really don't. There's not much you need out there, but we and I've watched my friends do the same thing where it's they started like realizing. It's not like there's a bunch of five-star restaurants around the corner. When exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the sunscreen in the back in the day mm -hmm. when we first did the show, no one wore a hat, no one wore a shirt, Crazy. nobody wore sunscreen. Oh. And then one day you wake up and you look in the mirror and you go, "Oh my God!" I look like a crocodile. Oh my God. <laughs> Yes, and then you start trying to reverse it. There's a machine, right? Some sort of weird laser yeah, machine yeah, that reverses yeah, it. Yeah, 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 exactly. But it's very time consuming and expensive. Cheaper to buy the sunscreen in a tube. 100%. <laughs> yeah.